Righto, Teleodia champs, and yes, here it is. The only phone I'll switch to from my iPhone. Yes, this is the Pixel 7 Pro, Wolf. Yeah, nah, I gotta say, the iPhone, hey, it's a great phone, don't get me wrong, but I mean, this iPhone 14 Pro Max has been the least inspiring upgrade iPhone I have ever had. Like, going from the 13 to this, like, within hours, it wasn't even like I had a new phone anymore. And have a look at this beautiful iPhone, that beautiful cracked artwork on the back. And usually I'll get my phone replaced pretty quickly when that happens. I guess Apple are a victim of their own success. As good as this phone is, it's just like, hey, whatever, from the 13, <laughs> seriously. And if you are bored of the iPhone, and whenever you see iPhone footage on this video, it is filmed with the Pixel 7 Pro. I'll get to the cameras in a minute. But if you are bored of the iPhone, this is the only way to fly, in my opinion. I mean, Samsung make great hardware, and there are other phones out there that are really good. If you really want to know about what is the best phones out there, go check out the GOAT of phone reviews, Tech Tablets. But for me... I could only use the Pixel 7 Pro because I don't want to use some of those Chinese phones. I, you know, the operating system, I don't like them. And as good as the Samsung is, and the hardware is just, wow, amazing on those things. But hey, those things are chock-a-block full of bloatware, like Samsung app and this and that. And yeah, what happened to OnePlus One? I mean, what happened to them? They were, you know, pretty good back in the day. And here is a review. This is a quick review of the Pixel 7 Pro from a user that's had it from launch. So a real user that that uses it on the daily. The phone is effing awesome. I love it over the 6. Camera is slower but better. Zoom is incredible with the Google Photo processing. Camera bump is scratching up a bit. NFC is not so quick, perfect every time. Finger unlock is way better than 6. 120 hertz, wolf, that's sick. Battery is okay, I'll get a day out of it. For example, I'm on 36% battery now with medium use. I'm running the latest update, getting some minor bugs. Screen freezes sometimes when I double press the power button for the camera. It's minor stuff. Hopefully it'll be fixed in the next firmware. One thing that sucks though is Android Auto. So yeah, that's a real review. So let me give you my two cents. I like this Pixel 7 Pro. I like the look of it. To me, I like it better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, it just looks better to me. It looks a bit quirky, something different. I actually think since Johnny Ive left, the Apple iPhones have been pretty uninspiring in terms of design. I mean, they're great phones. Don't get me wrong. The iPhones are amazing phones. They do everything you want. They do everything well. But I certainly do like the look of this white Pixel. I mean, it does everything I want. Clean Android, no bloat. The cameras... Some people say the iPhones have the best cameras out there, but I've got to tell you, this Pixel is wow. These photos on this are amazing. Are they better than the iPhone in terms of photography? Yes. No. Depends. Sometimes. It's just different. I mean, it looks more contrasty. It looks like it has more dynamic range, which is sort of looks like more processed. It looks sort of sharper. It sort of has more of a wow factor than the iPhone. The iPhone is very realistic. They don't put too much dynamic range into it. It doesn't pop as much as the pixel photos, but it's more like what you see with your own eyes. Sometimes the color casting is a bit weird, but you know, very reliable, the iPhone photos. And I've got to say they're equally as good in my opinion. They're just different. So neither camera is objectively better. And which one you prefer is which one you prefer. Uh, when it comes to video though, let me know when you see iPhone footage that's filmed with the Pixel, is there a difference in the video quality? Can you notice? I will say it's a bit strange that I don't have 24 frames per second with the Pixel and I am recording in HDR. iPhone is still the standard when it comes to video. The display is really good. No complaints there. I will say it's not quite as good as the iPhone. It's not as contrasty. When it comes to performance, look, here's the deal. For day-to-day -day stuff, 99% of people are going to do with their phones. The power of the silicon in the Pixel is fine. However, if you're a gamer, it will throttle. It's based on an Equinos, which isn't the best silicon out there, but it has been a long time since, you know, I even care what silicon goes into these phones because for what I do, the performance of any of these flagships is good enough. Battery life. Well, yes, not as good as the iPhone in the battery life department, but it will get you through the day, so job done there. All in all, it's just a great phone, especially the camera. The photos are really good. Speakers are not as good as the iPhone, but they're certainly good enough. It's just a overall really good package you know a decent price especially when you consider how much flagships cost now and i could definitely switch to this phone if it wasn't for airdrop that 
and the video is the only thing that's keeping me on the iPhone because you'll be surprised how much iPhone footage I use with this YouTube channel and I can just airdrop it to my Mac. It's just, yeah, that workflow really works for me. But usually when I use Android, it's like suffering pain. This thing here is not like that because I sell the iPhone at the end of the year before the launch and I use an Android phone for two, three weeks. It's like pulling teeth. With this phone, it won't be. I really enjoy using this phone. The only downside I would say with this is it's a bit jerky. And what I mean by that is it's a bit like a mouse with the DPI setting too high where the iPhone interface sticks to your thumb, right? It really is nice. It's smooth. It scrolls right everything's good with the pixel i find that i'm getting missed touches sometimes and also when i'm scrolling sometimes it's just jerky as in it moves up too fast and quick to where i wanted it to move like with the iphone it's perfect in that regard and that's the only complaint really this thing is certainly the top g of android phones in my opinion i actually want to know what phone do you guys rock let me know down there in the comments i'll catch you in the next one tally ho